Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Uh, this week's ROM hack recommendation is, well, a ROM hack of Tetris. Now, Tetris is probably my favorite puzzle game. I was never into puzzle games really until I played Tetris. Now, Tetris isn't something that I went out and specifically bought, but when I got my original Game Boy back in the late 80s, Tetris was bundled with it and I love this game and this is a kind of game where your parents stole your Game Boy uh, to play it. This is the original version we're having a look at on uh, an IPS modded Game Boy and then now we're going to move over to uh, a hack which I think it's very very good. Generally I like playing my old games the way they are but there are some where I think like the quality of life hack hacks really really do improve the experience. Okay, let's have a look at our analog pocket or this the, the hack being played on the analog pocket now i wasn't looking for this hack this hack found me now you can actually convert your um, game boy games to dot pocket files which on the analog pocket as as most of you will know uh, will give you the advan advantage of using uh the different screen uh, filters like the the classic green one uh like me, I love the green uh, filter for Game Boy DMG games. I do mess about sometimes with the other ones. I do like the red one for Gargoyles Quest. I think it just suits the game really well. So uh, on the analog pocket, this hack plays really, really well. Before we kind of deep dive into the hack, I just wanted to show a little bit of gameplay on the analog pocket. As you can see, there's like a hard drop there. We'll go through uh, some of the features that this hack actually brings to the table and why I think it's something you guys should definitely check out, even if you think the Game Boy version of Tetris is perfection. I definitely this I definitely think this one brings many many things to the table. Like I always say in the videos, uh, primarily I kind of aim these videos for for the analog pocket. It's just something nice to play on your analog analog pocket, but you're not limited to that. So play it on your Mister, play it Retro Arch, play it on your Android. I'm actually filming this footage uh, that you're seeing right now on RetroArch on an Android device that I had because I wanted to kind of try it out and I can just film stuff like I can play a game in bed and then just actually film the footage and then uh, just use it later for a video. So play this game wherever you like. Uh, I hope you do like the overlay. I really do like how this looks. But let's talk about this hack. So this hack is called Tetris Rosie Retrospection. And honestly, I really think this has done a great job um just updating tetris while keeping it while keeping it still as a lovable game for uh, all us old boys that played this on our original game boy dmg now looking at the description of everything this offers i'm just going to read it off here i probably don't use everything that that this does but the things that i do like is for the next uh, block you can see the next three uh, obviously you can hold the block as well which was a great addition in some of the later tetris games that i played uh, and as well as that you've got the hard drop now the hard drop is the biggest thing for me and i guess the hold is as well to some extent i know some people might say they like the original one without a hold i quite i quite like it with the hold to be honest so um the, the things that are implemented in here are implement super rotation system shadow piece free previews you select to hold seven bag with new pseudo random number generator hard drop and saving from classic hard drop hack redesigned screen layout new demos award spin clears faster delayed auto shift lock delay faster line clear extend the field by four invisible lines new game over condition adjust difficulty higher start location uh, and uh, I guess some bug bug fixes from a uh, a previous uh, or a previous version because uh, this has been updated a few times. Uh, I've only ever looked at the latest one, but honestly, I really really do think you guys should check check this out. If if like myself, you had a Game Boy growing up, this is literally like Tetris, the definitive version. Uh, the new the new quality life uh, checks are really really good. And if you notice at the beginning of the video, when I was uh, filming on the original Game Boy, I had something written about playing too much Tetris when, um, and then when you close your eyes, you will still see Tetris blocks. I used to work, I was, I was young, I was like 15, 16, and I used to work in a closed retail shop, like on, on Saturday, it was just like a Saturday job. I got paid like literally terrible wages, but it was it was something that brought me in a little bit of income when, when I was still in school. And there was a lady that worked there, really, really nice lady. And she was like maybe like 60 years of age, really cool. 
and uh, she got hooked on Tetris over one of her kids, I think one of her daughters or one of her grandkids. They had a Game Boy and she played it and I remember her telling me that she suffers from a condition called, I think she called it te tetra Tetrisitis and I was like what's that? And she said well I played so much Tetris during the day that when I went to sleep or when I was closing my eyes all I could see was blocks getting down which I found hilarious at the time. I haven't actually googled it to see if it is a condition or not if it is, do let me know in the comments below. But um, guys, I really do like Tetris and some Tetris hacks. Let me know if you want to see more. I did check out a few, and this one is my favorite because I have, I've got big love for the Game Boy DMG. That is, that is my favorite Game Boy. I don't care how advanced or how good Nintendo handhelds get. This was, this will always be my favorite. I got my first Game Boy. I've said it in previous videos on the channel. I got my first Game Boy by selling a car. And I was still young, I was like a kid, whatever, 11, 12. And my aunt, she gave me a car. She said, hey, you can have this car. I don't even know how I've done it, but I sold a car to a mechanic that lived on my road for exactly 70 pounds. And uh, I bought a Game Boy with Tetris, also came with some uh, earphones for 69.99. And I had 1p change, which at that time could get you one jelly cola bottle sweet. But guys, that's really it. I haven't got much to say. I'm just kind of waffling on. Uh, check out this hack. As usual, link to the ROM hack files will be in the description of the video. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got other ROM hacks uh, you guys want to suggest, then let me know in the comments below. Let me know about your Tetris experience. Did you suffer from tetri Tetrisitis? Then definitely hit me up in the comments. Um, and yeah, let me know if you want to see more Tetris ones because I did find a few Tetris ones that I thought were interesting. Uh, if you're and they're not necessarily on the Game Boy, it might be like the NES version of Tetris that's been uh, that's that there's a ROM hack available for. If you do want to check it out, then let me know. But remember, guys, enjoy these games, enjoy these ROM hacks wherever you want to enjoy them, whether it's on your Mister, your actual Game Boy, Analog Pocket, any kind of emulator, wherever you're playing them. With Tetris, I don't really have an issue with emulation. I don't feel too much on there on RetroArch. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm good to play this in on a number of devices in a number of ways. But guys, that was it for this video. I will see you around in the next video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Help the channel grow. And uh, yeah, see you guys around. Pixel. Cherry Ninja out.